Hello everyone. Today I wanted to go over uh, uh, some crystals to uh, use during this Scorpio season. Uh, these are uh, the recommended ones to help everyone through this time of year. First up, we have obsidian. And now, let me see, maybe I'll lay it right there. Uh, you still can't see it over there. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll hold it. <laughs> anyway, um, obsidian is a crystal that shares the same intensity as Scorpio's vibes, but with a twist. It's known for its ability to cleanse the psychic sphere. We all need a psychic cleanse from time to time, and this is the perfect stone to use for that purpose. Everyone we encounter leaves a bit of their energy lingering near our auras, and sometimes our own negativity can stick around much longer than we'd like. If you feel your psychic energy needs purification, medic meditate with a piece of obsidian, and you can also carry it around in your left-hand pocket. Obsidian can help bring attention to the darker aspects of your personality. It reminds us that we are all comprised of positive and negative, dark and light. While both sides are necessary, it can help tremendously to understand all parts of yourself. Okay. Next one is amethyst now uh i don't have a great uh piece here to show you but uh let me let me let me show you what i do have it's got some amethyst in it it's not a hundred percent amethyst but uh yeah it's got that purplish amethyst in there and the thing about amethyst, it's a wonderful stone to work with during the Scorpio season due to its ability to soothe emotional wounds. It also helps with addictive behaviors and increases spiritual energy. You might find yourself unearthing past hurts and upsets this time of year due to Scorpio's push to dig deeper. Amethyst can help you deal with the resulting emotions. If you need help regulating your feelings as you navigate older issues that need healing, amethyst can help immensely. These feelings are all also likely to urge us towards substances in an attempt to numb them. While it may seem like a glass of wine can hurt, it is important to face our emotional wounds head on, and especially to avoid covering the pain with alcohol or other substances. Amethyst has long been known for its ability to lessen addictive behaviors. Finally, amethyst connects us to our spiritual center, a welcomed invitation as we encounter the mystical nature of Scorpio. All right, next one up is aquamarine. And while I don't have the actual aquamarine stone, I thought I had one. But uh, as you can see here, it's uh, this is sea glass, but it has the aquamarine color. I'll throw up a picture of what aquamar aquamarine looks like here, right here. Okay, for aquamarine, Scorpio energy contains mystery and secrecy. You may never truly feel like you know the Scorpios in your life, and that's because there is a sense of keeping certain things hidden within the nature of this sign. However, while no one is required to share every single part of themselves with anyone, it is important that we learn to open up and let others in. When Scorpio energy is in full swing, you may feel the tendency to bottle your feelings up and let it sink in. 
Yet, try as you might, the bottled emotions will always rise to the surface eventually. It's important to learn to let some of that out early on with the people you trust. An aquamarine is just the stone to help you hit the release button. Aquamarine encourages openness and communication skills, making it a bit easier to let people see your vulnerable side. This stone reduces fear and helps you feel more balanced when opening up to others. It is especially well known for improving the communication skills of those with a Scorpio sun. Next one up, as you can see here, and they're small, but this is Malachite. Very pretty. I love the swirls and the design of them. And you still can't see those very well. Let me put it on darker, maybe. Find a good side. There's a good side. Okay, I know. They're small. Maybe I can try to blow this up a little bit. Okay, malachite is a metaphysical stone with a connection to the spiritual realm. This crystal is especially useful when meditating or doing other introspective work. Malachite encourages grounding and balance and helps reduce the intensity of certain emotions. Malachite is also a sensual stone, matching the sensual energy of Scorpio. It increases blood flow to the sex organs and is associated with the goddess of love, Aphrodite. This crystal is associated with Pluto as well, the transformative ruling planet of the sign Scorpio. Pluto encourages us to explore deeper, more metaphysical concepts and observe the hidden world around us. It promotes concepts and observes the hidden world around us. It promotes transformation within and helps us develop our spiritual inquisitive nature. Malachite is also an excellent, excellent stone for cleansing the space of negative energy. And the last one, good for this season, for this uh, particular time period. And uh, let me get this up here to make sure you can see it really good. That's the prettiest side. Labradorite. I, I love this stone, how pretty it is. The colors. And it's got, uh, really, it uh, almost sparkles. It's so pretty. And where, where do I put that? Um, I guess that's not too bad. Once again, I'll try to zoom in on that. Labradorite perfectly embodies the, the mystical and magical nature of Scorpio. Quite literally known as the stone of magic, Labradorite increases the energy of wonder and the supernatural. Scorpio is known for its curious nature and willingness to explore hidden realms, and Labradorite is the perfect stepping stone into these unknown realms. Perfect for meditation and tarot work, this crystal radiates with alchemical energy and is excellent for this Scorpio season. And what you do is any of these crystals, or all of them, depending on whichever suits your purpose, you can carry it in uh, your left pocket to absorb its energy, or you can try infusing your drinking water with the power of your chosen crystal by soaking it for 30 minutes. And of course, remove before drinking. But you have to be careful. I don't think any of these crystals uh, will be bothered much by water. But some crystals will actually uh, fall apart in water and damage pretty bad. So you have to be real careful about what ones you, you put in your drinking water. Something else you can do is meditate surrounded by your crystals 
or hold one in each hand. Place your favorite crystals around your home and office. No matter how you choose to work with your stones, make sure you feel a sense of connection to yourself and your spirit. So whether you're looking to keep yourself relaxed and upbeat or trying to draw more out of that enigmatic Scorpio energy near you, there's a crystal out there to assist you. Crystals work with practically every astrological season, but there are, are certain stones who ener whose energy are practically buzzing with excitement during Scorpio's reign. So there you go. Those are the crystals good for uh, use for this time of year, plus the aquamarine, which, uh, like I said, this is not it. I'll flash that picture up one more time. So you use these, and hopefully uh, this will cover everything you'll need during this period. All right. I might be returning with this type of segment. Uh, just depends on the reaction I get from everyone. So uh, thank you, and you all have a, a great day. Bye-bye.